Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're talking about how to get Devil's Ruin because it did just drop today and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, guys, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I am kind of on the fence about this gun. On one hand, I think it's pretty cool. On the other hand, I think it's like fine, nothing too crazy. So in order to actually get this weapon, you are going to have to do one sundial. You do not have to do the legend sundial. I do not know where people are getting this from, but I ended up doing it from the normal run. I literally turned on Destiny and just did the normal run and I got it from there. From there, you're gonna have to go to Saint 14. You're gonna have to talk to him and he's gonna tell you like, oh shit, this is a weapon from Twilight Gap. And if you guys don't know what Twilight Gap, Gap is, aside from the map in PVP, it's an event that almost destroyed humanity and Shax and his fire team are really big on it. And for that reason alone, I like this weapon. It's very unique. Not only is the gun like literally a sidearm and a fusion rifle, but it's also very important in the lore as well. So that's why I like it a lot. But when I actually use it, that's a different thing entirely. So aside from that, once you actually talk to saint 14 and you go do the mission that's actually the last mission which is another disappointing thing this mission is literally one mission long so you're gonna load up into twilight gap the pvp map and you're gonna have to find like what 10 robot boys that are just scattered around the map for some reason and along the ways when when you get more robot boys you can hear like saint 14 and Osiris talking to each other. It's really cool. I really do wish that we saw that in the story like Saint 14 and Osiris actually talking to each other meeting each other and like having this big meet meet up and like reunion because you know Osiris it, lore just lore so After you get all the robot boys actually before that I'm gonna show you where you, where the robot boys are because every other destiny content creator hasn't done that so I'm gonna show you guys real quick because it took me a while, so I'll be right back. So once you get all the robot boys, you are gonna get this really cool conversation between Sate 14 and Shax. I highly recommend you stay there and just listen to the whole thing. It's really funny. It's basically Sate 14 asking about the pinnacle weapons that Shax made. And he's just kind of like, yeah, like, it's a thing. Like, 
Guardians need to get paid. And I was just, I was giggling throughout the whole time. And it also hurt to remember that we have no more pinnacle weapons. But aside from that, how's the weapon, Tony? So I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Initially, I did make a video before this one and it was literally just me destroying Devil's Ruin. Like I was like, oh, this gun's not that good and all this stuff. But aside from seeing a certain content creator that I actually really like, I saw his video on it and it kind of changed my mind. So I went back into Destiny 2 just to see a little bit more. And to my surprise, it does change my previous thoughts on it, which I thought were like, this is a fine, mediocre weapon to a, this is, you can use this sure yeah i still don't think you can use this in pve so let's good let's get into pvp so pvp i'm obviously not, do, not doing pvp but this is just to showcase what you can do in pvp because i'm not going back to pvp after playing all those rounds especially since people are using mountaintop and all this crazy shit when i'm just trying to get this recording so what's really cool is let's look at the perks real quick so close the gap Variable trigger, press and release the fire in, to fire individual shots. Hold to charge a high power staggering laser, strong against unstoppable champions. So, real quick, I'm going to tell you right now, this is awesome. I like this, but at the same time, I think it could be better. And I'll explain to you what I think about that. So, extend the barrel for the increase in range. The projection fuse for increase in range as well. Pyrogenesis. This is the one that actually kind of confused me a little because the wording is really bad. Fully charging the laser refills the magazine from reserves. And I will show you guys what that means in a bit. And then for the last one, it's combat grip, which greatly controls recoil. So ultimately, what the pyrogenesis means is basically once you use all your ammo, like how I am right now, I'm at two. Once you charge it up, it charges, uh, it reloads it all the way back to one clip, which is essentially you're probably getting 29 to 28 bullets back, or you're using up to 29 to 28 bullets, which is really cool because you can be shooting someone, shooting someone, and then like, if you need to get that last bit of DPS, just hold it and you get your whole clip back. That's actually really cool. I did not know that like before. So that actually does change my mind a bit. Not in PVE, mostly because of some of the reasons that I'll state in a bit, but in PVP, yes, I can definitely see this being something really awesome, especially when let's say you're killing someone, you kill someone, but you still have like three or four rounds left and you do not want to reload because another guy's coming up on you. Literally just hold this and you're good that because that one that one laser beam is enough to kill a guardian for sure like hands down so once you use this the guardian's going down and you can reload now there's other things that you can use like mechanist trick sleeves does make this weapon a lot better but mechanist trick sleeves has the downside that you have to be almost dead or dead to proc whatever the damage perk is so it's very garbage in my opinion i do not like perks that activate when you're about to die because literally a fart can kill you so making these trick sleeves it can work i could it could probably work a little bit better in pve but at the same time you you would always be almost dead to proc making your trick sleeves so again is it really worth it I, in my opinion not really so in pve this is where my mind really just did not change at all because first and foremost this is an exotic this is this is an exotic that goes in the secondary which means you're losing access to recluse kindled orchid you're losing access to a lot of things that you might be using in your secondary slot i mean it does open on your your primary you can use tranquility you can use one small step you can use a lot of things so with devil's ruin being in the energy slot you essentially lose access to the Izanagi's Burden and the Anarchy because it is an exotic, obviously. But you also lose like Callus Mini Tool, Kindled Orchid, Recluse. There's a bunch of stuff in the secondary slot that I would use over Devil's Ruin, to be honest. Not only that, but although it is nice that this can stagger enemies, I would much prefer, much prefer leviathan's breath over this because leviathan's breath i think is a little bit more useful because not only can it stagger but it could also push enemies away so for me 
it's just it's not worth it you're using a sidearm that's going to be your main damage dealing weapon you're trading a laser beam for something i for me personally i just don't think it's worth it in pve i could be wrong but ultimately i do not want to switch out my anarchy or my Zanagi's burden because those are really good dps weapons i mean i could end up using like love and death because i have a full court with spike grenades and then maybe a tranquility with firing line which i do have as well but at that point i'm really just trying to scrape the barrel off of like dps like i'm trying to really scrape that down like i uh, it's too much man just izanagi's burden with recluse or kindled orchid and then like my love and death at that point i got dps from so many angles not only that but my kindled orchid has rampage and kill clip so i'm killing everything fast with devil's ruin like i said it's a sidearm so it's just not meaty enough so that's pretty much all my opinions about this weapon i was hoping it'd be a little bit more powerful and I was hoping that it wouldn't. There's a lot of issues I have with this weapon. I love its uniqueness. I love the lore behind it. And I like the, I like the weapon a lot. Don't get it twisted, guys. I'm not complaining. I'm not trying to say this gun's garbage and Bungie should feel bad. Nothing like that. It's just, it's not my cup of tea. I do not fuck with this gun. There's a lot of exotics that I really do not fuck with. And unfortunately, Devil Devil's Ruins is one of them. But I love it aesthetically. I love the lore behind it. And... To fuck around i will definitely use this but if i'm doing like nightfalls with homies that like oh you need to you need to like gear up we were gonna do this shit for a while devil's ruins the last thing on my mind leviathan's breath would probably be the first thing i think of for staggering instead of devil's ruin to be honest so let me know what you guys think about the gun am i wrong let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support i really do appreciate it and other than that we'll see you guys later